So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead where uh, I've managed to cut out two hours of uh, Windows updates, we just had the big one 18.06 Anyway, enough said about that <laughs> Sorry, the less said about that the better See you in a second And welcome back again So, done a couple of things since uh, last video As you can probably tell First of all I've already fitted the uh, the UPS uh, compatible recharging station. Uh, there was a small box here, I removed that. I've installed another box and you do need some sort of carrying capacity on there. Um, I've just don't gone for the smaller box because I remember there being an issue before with some of the bigger ones. But uh, you might be able to get these trunks under there. But um, I, I, I don't know, I can't remember if they work or not, so I just went for the box, basically. Um, it only stores 68 litres, but that's more than enough. And what you normally store in there is just all the tools uh, and stuff like that. What I have done is I've started... <laughs> well, we got one. I've started moving it. I thought I'd move the flashlight as well. <laughs> um, started moving some of the tools. We want to have uh, sort of UPS battery... Um, batteries on and they can then obviously sit in there to charge maybe I have the torch on me but, uh, flashlight whatever it is no it's not here who knows it's here somewhere we'll find it in a minute anyway but um, I've also gone and uh, read a I read a book so I spent one day I think in game and I've increased my electronics to five and that's uh, that's the bit of a milestone because that once again is the UPS one so search for UPS here you see we can actually make a UPS yeah good luck with that and um, we can make more importantly a UPS conversion mod and you'll need to make one of these for all the various tools that you want to use the UPS with um, so one thing I'm gonna do is uh, move our little electric uh, we've got an electric stove or something um, Uh, we've got an electric lantern, so let's do that. I thought we had, uh, say, there's an electric cooker or cooker or something. I don't know. We've not actually uh, used it yet, but um, with this UPS thing, uh, we'll definitely get on and, and do that because uh, that'll make it a lot more useful. As is the lantern. Well, the lantern, I can't see it's using that much because uh, we can just go you know, and. Um, control the engine thing from here and we can uh, obviously turn on you know our lights or, or the dome lights if we're sitting in the driver's seat but, um, usually our lights because they're a bit better they're in a little sort of cubby hole back here so we can just close all the doors and then it'd be nice and dark basically um, so that's kind of cool um, what else was I going to do oh yes um, so I looked up um, where you get springs from uh, the end of after, just after the end of last episode, and this is why this uh, this seat is right here because you get them from seats. Now that seat there is damaged, so what we're actually going to do is if I um, examine the the vehicle on our left there, what we'll do is we'll we'll, uh, we'll take out the seat and seat belts from here. Uh, well, let's uh, repair that seat. Oh, we've not got our goggles on us. Goggles? Where are our goggles? There we go, welding goggles, thank you. Um, so that's that one, so repair seat. And uh, let's remove the seat belt because it's probably dodgy anyway. And that seat. So there we go, so it's fell on the ground here. Now what we can do is, oh, I think it's actually fallen on our right there. Yeah, there we go. So what we probably want to do, if we grab, just grab that seat there will come down here and um, for the moment this uh, lit charcoal kiln is is still thinks it's burning it's actually not burning right now it's probably finished but we're going to use its light and we're going to um, go on to our uh, seat and uh, we're going to do disassemble seat thank you and there we go two springs fantastic so there's uh, there's two springs right there so I can't remember where did our other seat go? Maybe it fell on the... Uh, there we go, items on the ground. So there's another seat there. Let's come down here. So, seat. That one. This is symbol. Yes, please. So there's four springs. Fantastic. 
so there was a couple of bits we wanted uh, to make from those um, so let's uh, come up here and I can't remember if I got all the other bits but we want to make a survivor actually let's just uh, yeah let's grab the springs and we'll, and we'll drop them over here uh, there we go close the door in fact uh, it's gone night time so let's go here and turn on our little eye lights and you see the whole this whole bit now lights up so we can close that door and it'd be dark outside so monsters wouldn't see us but uh, I don't really care for the moment so the first thing we want to make is our Oops, if I can type survival and we're going to make a tele survivor telescope we need two lenses now we got a pair of glasses here last time so let's uh, clear that search for glass glasses no there's a magnifying glass um okay let's search for why some things we are searching all we are okay what are glasses called in this game? <laughs> are you kidding me? Really? Pair of eye glasses. Okay, let's search for eye glasses then. Well, I should have done it. Glass should see glasses. Oh, there we go. There's a pair of bifocal glasses. That's what we want. So, where have they gone? They're there. Let's de for disassemble them. Really? I think we can disassemble them. Let's um, cut, try and uh, cut them up. No, uh, well, no. Wow, really? We can't remove the lenses from our gla from those glasses? Are you kidding me? That's really annoying. Oh well, I think we have um, some backup for some of our glasses. No, uh, I don't know where I put them though. Uh, we've got some pair of some safety glasses in there. Have a look. Make swim goggles or welding goggles from them, but uh, oops, not moving the mouse. Um, don't know if we can. It doesn't mention about disassembling them. Let's uh, let's pick them up anyway. Let's try under this. Oops, safety glasses. Let's see if we can disassemble these. No, nope. great. Oh well, um, I think they came from our clothes pile and our main clothes piles over here. So let's get from here. Yeah, get. Thank you. Glass, glasses. Here we go. We got loads. So we got reading. My glasses. Let's take all of those. Um, let's take those. They're kind of knackered. We'll take those glasses as well. I knew we had loads of glasses somewhere. Let's um, pop back over here. So, let's try the eyeglasses, see if we can disassemble those. Nope, this is uh, getting into a bit of a farce. So, reading glasses, disassemble those. Nope, are you kidding me? Sunglasses, don't really want to do that. We're going to get tinted glass from that, that's not the same. So, telescope, what do we want? Yeah, it just wants high quality lenses. Okay, well in that case then, those are possibly from those silly little robots that we see um, up north. So for the moment, let's just go and drop these uh, crazy number of glasses we're getting. And uh, what I will do is we'll come up here and uh, we'll get a... Uh, mm, let's take saw... oops, one button. Get, let's take the saw, let's take the toolbox. don't think we'll need anything else. Take the hacksaw as well. Yeah, let's take the hacksaw instead of the wood saw, actually. That's probably a better one to take. Um, Multi-tools we don't really need. Yeah, that'll probably do us, really. So, let's, um, let's zoom up north and uh, go up to the... I can't move there. Oh, well, it's night time. I can't see, apparently. Okay, well, yeah. Nice little lag here caused by the new Windows updates because of course the machine has to be doing stuff Oops. sorry I said we weren't going to talk about this I'm trying I'm, I'm trying right where's this house so yeah straight north Let's go up here so I think one of the eyebots was around here somewhere no oh here we go so let's see if I can use my toolkit 
Did we pick up the toolkit? Yeah, I did. There it is. Good. Relief. We're going to... I don't know. Let's cut metal. No. Let's try... Cut up item. No. Okay. How do we disassemble that then? Maybe I need to pick it up first. Yep. Stick that in my inventory. So. Broken eyebot. Disassemble. I can't see to craft. Awesome. Now I remember to bring in my flashlight with me. And there we got a lighter. I could set fire to something. And at the moment, that's a very tempting proposition. <laughs> um, yeah, let's uh, let's drop this little eye bot here, and we'll just make a temporary fire. I think there's some bits of wood or something burnable around here. Here we go. Let's grab uh, two of these distaff and spindles over here. They're about to get it right. Let's drop those there. Distaff and spindle, and uh, all the pyromaniacs out there. Let's just set them on fire. So let's get that, and let's. Uh, see if we can disassemble it now. I need a soldering iron. Are you kidding me? I got a hacksaw. Can we not just chop it up? How annoying. Oh, that's interesting. We can, we can uh, cut logs into planks, but anyway, not helping us much. Let's um, cut up an item. Is it going to give us the option? Fantastic. Well, I'm not even sure if we've even got a soldering iron. Could use it to craft a security camera. Oh, very nice. Yeah, well, it's repaired with a soldering iron and welder. It doesn't say anything. See, there we go. It, disassembling this item uh, might yield some solder. Processor board, one high quality lens. So, yeah, this is this is definitely what we want. Um, let's just check uh, Telly Telly Dubri what's the news is it's going to need two so we are going to have to find that other one um, and it's going to need a spring as well so let's see how far I get lugging this thing around no I don't want to tread on a rose bush so the car's down here somewhere are we going to make it? not quite Let's have a little rest. Right. Now, I don't think I've even got a soldering iron. So let's stand here. So I might be able to use the makeshift welder to do it. So disassemble. Can't see the craft. Good stuff. Let's, uh, let's just drop it here. Let's um, grab our lit charcoal. That isn't really lit and wield it. Let's uh, drop it here then. Grab uh, Mr. Thingy, what's it? and uh, try disassembling. Here we go. So, using the welder then. Good stuff. Right. There's one. Let's have a drink. And uh, maybe a bit of food. What we got? I'm saving those acorns there for something else. That's uh, the second part of this. Well, it's a little bit. Right, let's pop back up here and see if we can find this other guy. So, right, let's uh, drop it right here, Mister. actually we don't want to do that, let's just go and disassemble him right here. Right, done, okay, so let's get uh, lenses, okay, let's just grab most of this. Interesting they dropped uh, some solder there. Anyway, back in here. I think that's where we want to stick it. So, right, let's try again then. So, telescope. I, have a tele I need a plastic mold, of course. Well, there we go. <laughs> um, that's not going to happen any time soon. I think to make, I think to make a plastic mold, if we can even make one, um, we need a suede. We need um, all plastic balls. Okay, maybe we could make that. 
Anyway, I'm going to give up and come back to that. So, well, we're getting there. So, telescope's on the way. It'll, it'll, we'll get there eventually. So, now what I did want to do is, um, so the next thing we want to do is, uh, we had this cured hide, it was on the ground, I just sort of dumped it over here, it was just lying on the ground, curing over, overnight. That was a couple of days ago though. So now what we want to do is, we want to turn that into the next thing. So if you were living out in the wilderness, um, what you'd want to do is you'd want to then turn the cured hide into a tanned hide. So we've got this couple of recipes for doing this. So we could use water and some aspirin. Very tempting, that's going to take 20 minutes. Or we could do this, which is um, just a handful of acorns, um, which we've, I've already picked up. Um, we've got some salt water already from the, from the lake or whatever up north. And we've already got some tainted tallow. So we'll, we'll, we'll go and do this one. So let's do that. So let's just use the dirty water because nobody cares. Uh, we'll use the handful of acorns that I picked up and the salt water and uh, we'll use the tainted tallow. Why not? Wow, okay, we get a choice. Okay, we had two of these. Right, let's do that one then. Let's repeat that. Do I want to do it? Yep. Uh, those acorns then and salt water and we use the tainted tallow again. So we've got two now tanning leather hides. These have to be left somewhere dry, so we'll leave them over here. Right next to our little camp. Uh, this is where we used to sleep, right here. So, so those are now tanning, which is kind of good that there's cool, because um, I had an idea. It took me a while to find something that just used one. But anyway, what I was going to make was a tool belt. But uh, those will take a day to tan, obviously, and dry out and everything. So let's... Uh, have another bit of water, scoff some veggies, maybe a couple of grapes, there we go, and uh, so the next thing, I don't know, what time is it, it's 4am, okay, let's uh, let's have a little sleep then, so let's go here, turn off our oil lights, close that door, close this, oops. close that door, and that wall door, and let's um, no, sleep, Yes, and um, we want to sleep tonight. Let's uh, let's set it for eight hours. So still going to waste a fair bit of the day, unfortunately. But, um, that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. So we did that. Um, another thing we could, I think we're almost able to make, and we're not quite there, is uh, the folding bicycle. We didn't uh, we didn't pick up the uh, the bicycle bits. Uh, those two bike wheels we were going to get from downstairs, I don't think. So let's have a look. Folding bicycle. Where are you? You're not even here. Okay. It's uh, it's actually a complete item. And we can make we can make our own version of a folding bicycle, but there there is an actual device. But uh, anyway, no, oh well, it's not there. Maybe it's called. Oh, it's called foldable. Did I do? No, I just did fold. Okay, let's try it. Uh, by cycle, can spell cycle. No, nope, can't even see bicycles on the list. Maybe we need to be uh, near our recipe books, which is right here. B I C Y C. There we go. Holding bicycle, so it needs two steel frames, saddle and vehicle control controls. We have actually got a lot of this stuff right here. So saddle, no. Frame, no. Okay, let's um go away. We'll use this one. Clear that. So frame, got extra light frames there. We haven't got any steel frames. Maybe I'll move them up here. Frame, heavy duty frames. Okay, looks like I might need to pick up some frames. Oh well, another thing off the list. So it's uh, not going too well, but um, well, that one can stay there for the moment. So we got a got our springs. Um, something else we were gonna gonna look at. So what are these um, UPS? I'm not sure if we'll even be able to make these. So. Power converters, storage batteries. Ah, yes, that's what I wanted to do. 
So to get storage batteries, they are super heavy. We're going to have to basically take this um, this forklift off of this truck and, and stick it on our on our little car over there. So if I wander up, I don't know if we'll be in range to do this. Let's try examine. I'm not sure if that welder can if we uninstall. Nope, that's going up. O to remove. Here we go. Oh, it just needs uses lifting. Okay, that's cool. So we've got that. So let's grab. Well, that's just a steel frame. Okay, can't walk through that. Let's edit our truck, and uh, I'm going to put it right outside the door. Actually, you know what? Let's put it. Let's put it to the right of the door. Let's put it there. So install, and it's not even coming up on the list. So that means we're going to have to go and get something. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. Nope. There's a boom crane. I think we looked at that. That should be in this list here. Okay. Well, I thought it was called like fork or something. Forklift. There we go. So, oh, we need some glare protection. Oh, that's all we need then. Okay, right. Uh, did I not get my welding goggles? No. Dog. Well, I had them on us already, to be honest, but anyway. Dog, no. Gig. Goggles, no. Okay, they down here. There they are. Get back in my inventory, thank you very much. Right. Let's try that again. They're just there. Oh, now it's going to come up on the lift. List even. Right, yep, that's what we want. Fort lift arms, thank you very much. Hopefully, so it's got a lifting of two, it says. So hopefully that'll be enough. So, let's, um, I'm hungry and thirsty. Let's, uh, have a couple of grapes. Okay, let's have a few grapes. And uh, let's eat some water, or we'll drink some water even. Got some clean water, just the stuff on me. Okay, let's clean some more water then. Really? Okay, let's reload. <laughs> reload our hobo stove. Then we'll get some uh, water. Let's, uh, which came first. Uh, we're going to pour it into our canteen, thank you very much. Let's reload the hobo stove again. Drop him back in his uh, home. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Drop hobo. Thank you very much. Right, let's uh, let's go. Oh, actually, while we are here, I was uh, there was something else I was going to show before we drive off. If you notice on the front, we've got some bull bars now. So I just wanted to show how these are, how these are made. And basically, as you can see there, they're just heavy-duty frames. So if I go, uh, we've got some more spare right where I'm standing here. So if I go up to the top there, you look, these are just heavy-duty frames. So if I go I to install, and it's this top one here, the heavy-duty frame. And then you can choose what sort of functionality you want. So if you look, the one on our left is also an equal sign, and the far right on the left is, is just a minor symbol. So you can sort of build up your bull bars like this really so if we do another if we install another um, equal sign one there that'll do that and then on the end we can just do the minus one so it's not got another I've picked it up anyway well somewhere we got another frame somewhere I think it's the heavy frame as well frame wall no no frames down here, really. Got the extra light one. I thought we had another frame. That is super annoying. What have we done with my other frame? Don't tell me it broke. Oh, I really thought we had another frame. We've got plating and stuff. But, um, that is super annoying. Yep. Well, anyway, and then once you've done that, what you then do is you then install your heavy duty, um, stick your, um, the armor on there. 
it uh, also isn't here. It's on the floor somewhere. Me metal military composite plating. That's what we want to install. Look, we got loads of the stuff. So uh, I thought I obviously had enough frames, but obviously we need one more frame. And it's not like a normal frame as well as we want the heavy duty ones on there. So if we ram stuff, it's not going to trash our uh, uh, headlights. But uh, that's all that's covering. <laughs> That's all to really care about. So anyway, let's uh, let's drive off to town. So let's go. I oh know it's looking a bit funny back there because it can't draw at all. But uh, here we go. Dodge that bush, zoom out a little bit, and uh, let's get some speed up because. Um, ouch! Oh, that's all right. What did that hit anyway? Oh great, we've just lost our uh, wing mirror. Oh well, so I've installed these bull bars on the front and it's not even working. There we go, take that bush, we're getting our own back. Right, let's um, let's drive south a little bit. Oh, we've got a zombie running at us. Go oh, on, Mr. Zombie, we don't care. We want something down here. So, I think it's the next one. I'm trying to remember where that solar car was. Um, let's just zoom. Whoa, okay, that's turning, that's not changing my view. This is what I wanted to do. Yeah, I'm not seeing it over there. Let's dodge that. I'm getting uh, right next to this land. Uh, we're right on top of this landmine. Okay, bad news. Reverse. Is it even gonna reverse? It's gonna reverse. Ouch. That was pretty bad. Okay, let's just um, hold it right here. No, ouch, poor old car. That's it, I think we just trashed one of the wheels. Where's this thing? Right, wheel my bow. First of all, we're out of here. Get the arrows back, thank you very much. Right, I think we just lost a wheel to a landmine. But um, you could see how much more resilient the car is anyway. So yeah, we've lost that that front front wheel unfortunately. The bull bars wouldn't have helped there either. Oh well, we're on the lookout for another wheel. So uh, let's uh, let's go on foot. <laughs> uh, no, let's uh, let's not go on foot. Let's carry on because I need to get this. Um, to get the jack that this thing's got, so let's reverse a little bit. Let's go around the landmine this time. I'm kind of surprised I didn't see the dimples of them. I can see the ones further down, but there we go. Then drive straight. Good, it is still driving. Yep. Not the best uh, days we're having here. All I need now is to come across that tank. So let's. Um, not try to jinx things too much, so I want to go south here, avoiding all these bushes. That was a close one. Now, uh, have a little look. I think it's, I think it is this one here where it was. Once again, the fog of war's come back. So there's the big tank. Yeah, it's just the other side of that big tank, I think. Now so let's. Turn a bit more. Nope. Okay, our bull bars did actually do their job on that shrub. So, just really? Are you kidding me? It's up here. Hmm. Where's this car? It's around here somewhere. I don't think I marked it. There's an ambulance or something we can see there. I really don't want to go up that bit. That's where the tank is, really. Um, what a shame. I thought it was here. It must be the next one. This is... Uh, check the map. Let's, uh, let's carry on a bit further. Just in case it is a bit further, but I don't think it is. I can see a zombie child up here. On the plus side, there's another armoured vehicle we can get a wheel off of, so we'll do that even uh, if the worst comes to the worst. I'm gonna move. 
once again, we're in view mode, okay. Right. Oh, there's another tank right there, gosh. And another APC as well over there. Uh, it's wheels central around here for us. But uh, unfortunately not the solar car. The solar car basically has uh, the big solar batteries in it. And uh, you take those apart to basically get the smaller batteries and then you take that apart. He, he's got some front ones on his. Maybe we should grab some of those. Um, Anyway, so you take those batteries apart to basically make the sort of the, the ever decreasing ones, so it's the small ones that we need. So let's stop driving. Um, and um, yeah, so what were we making? We were going to make the uh, UPS. If you look here, it takes a small storage battery, and uh, that's what you get. So you take the storage cells apart, and you get something like four medium storage cells or something. And then the medium storage turns like eight of the smaller ones. I think that's the right ratio, something like that. Anyway, so regardless, we'll have more than enough, really. So let's just clear up this area. Something fast is coming over here. What's this? Z9 and a feral runner. Okay. Wait for him to get a little bit nearer. Ouch. Okay, anyone else seen us? We've got a spitter zombie. Get our arrows back off these guys. Wow, Kevlar dog harness. That's quite good. Not for us, but um, for the Kevlar plates that's inside it. So, I um, don't know if we can IK chop it up and dog harness. There we go, 18 Kevlar plates. Look at that, fantastic. I see a Rottweiler approaching. You kidding me? Dream on, Mr. Rottweiler. You can dream on as well. Let's go and get this screamer. That vehicle might be in the way. Anyone else? It's party time. We're ready for you. Bring it on. He says as he runs out of stamina. No, I've not run out of stamina. Right, let's have a look up here. No, it's not that vehicle there. I was sure it was that one. I do remember this trashed one here. Maybe it's north of us. Yeah, see the tanks over there. Getting very near. Got wheels. Small steerable wheels. Got two of them. So, um, I've still got my toolkit on me. I have. Let's, uh, let's swipe those wheels while we're here. I don't care about zombie children, as long as they're not coming at me. They can, uh, they can see my uh, bull bars in a minute. Anyway, let's um, dump this in the car. Let's just bung them over here for now. And they'll have all those as well. That's good. Excuse me. Thank you for denting my rucksack. Take those. Uh, we also, I think we're going to butcher you as well. Actually, we'll just use uh, Shift and B to butcher you, and uh, we'll get some more tainted fats and bones. Always good. Drop them off. Drop sprinting. Anyone else coming? The problem is it's getting dark and we can't see things now. Anyway. So we want a frame from here and another wing mirror apparently. Let's see if he's got some headlights as well. Got no wheels. Awesome. No wheels at all? No. Fantastic. And these headlights are really beaten up as well. What kind of car is this? I'll take your wing mirror. You got a better one? Yeah, I've got a better one. Let's take that one. Um, could take that. Hmm, I'd rather take both at the same time. So we sort of want that heavy duty frame and, and that sort of uh, steel plating and stuff really. Hmm, okay, let's take, I mean stripping off a bit here. That's 20 minutes, that's another 20 minutes and this one's an hour, ouch. 
Right. We want your heavy duty frame, thank you. I'm gonna wield that. Yeah, it's heavy. Let's uh, stick that in the boot there. Wield my bow in case somebody else comes by. Wait a couple of minutes. Uh, let's see if we can get one of these. We can. Good stuff. Plating. Fantastic. I don't really need a hacksaw at the moment. So it's night time. I don't know how much we'll be able to see. But um, on the plus side it means that that tank won't be able to see it either. So let's we'll scoff some more grapes and bits down. Have another drink. Is it revealing the map for me? That's the question. I really want to see up there. Somebody tries to grab me. Yeah, well, okay. Once again, I should turn the safe mode on. So I'm getting really lucky here. And, uh, we're having something very, very nasty come up to us, so let's turn safe mode on right now. If that had been a zombie hulk, uh, we'd be in some very big trouble. Uh, anyway, right. Let's, um, I don't, yeah, it's not hidden. Well, zombie cop. Okay. Anyone else? We get his badge? No. Ooh, pocket guide to first aid. Very nice. Okay, it gets pretty dark from here. But what we want's on the road. Unfortunately, I think the tank's on the road as well. So, uh, we're about to probably end this game any second. Yep, the tank is that way along that road as well. Yeah, that's the uh, the tank shooting at something along that road here. So let's go back over here, over this way. My body aches. See, I, I had this before, and um, I've got a bit of a something else to own up to. I, I I don't know if we have radiation sickness or something. I get this your body aches message every now and now and again. I mean, it might at that time it might just be that incredibly loud noise. It was loud enough to deafen us and give us pain, but um, basically that um, what I did is I left our um, artifact over where the other tank was. Oh really did I not? So it must be over here. I thought I left a note where it, let's stick a note A for artifact, but I left our scaled little piece of paper or whatever it was over there. So hopefully we wouldn't get any more radiation or something. It's a lot of these things do have like good and bad traits. So, oops. He died pretty quick. He's got some bandages for us. Whoa, we got a zombie soldier. This way, old soldier, where are you going? Wow, this guy is super tough. Sheesh. Oh, we got 30 arrows, that's a lot of zombies there. Grab that arrow, I think we're going to need it. Probably we're down to 17. Blimey. Still running? We are still running. We've got a K9 or something over there. No, I'm going to shoot the doggy, thank you. Really? is not good. It 
skeletal dog as well. He's only lightly injured. Um, what? There's some sort of car here. Heavy duty frame. It's a heavy duty cargo truck. Might run in through the. Uh, I don't know if we've got the home wrecker on us anymore. No. That would be a, a better weapon. Let's run around the front of this vehicle for starters. There's some distance on the guy. Just reflecting off him, that. So, just run over here and we'll get a couple more shots on him. Slow down the walk. No, okay, we're running again then. Really? Slow down to a walk across there. Ouch. Well, I think we're just going to run away then. And, uh, that car's going to get it. Let's see if we can take him out, because he would have killed us. So hopefully, there's the electric car to our north. So let's just mark this. Uh, C. Uh, let's do an E actually. Electric car. We'll have to come back in the morning. Uh, but. Uh, at the moment we're walking and uh, we're making a very fast retreat. We've got another couple coming at us. I don't care which one you fire, just shoot anything. Jeez. This is uh, really dangerous. We've got a shady zombie as well. And we are now out of arrows. And we're out of stamina. We are too tired to run. So this car down here is going to get it. Get off me. How far is our car? The other side of this building. So we need to... Just two steps and close the door. Buy us a bit of time. So yeah, very very dangerous doing this stuff. Our car is down here, so we're just going to jump in and hightail it out of here. Now the engine is going to make some noise, but um. I don't care. I get some speed up and let's just crank it around and then we're gonna just floor it. So that was um, a very lucky escape. Let's turn our headlights on. Yeah, I don't like cutting things as close as that. That was really bad. So where's this minefield? Because they're a bit harder to spot. I've just heard a shot. Um, we just went deaf again, basically. So that tank's moving around. It's too heavy for its engine. Wow. Really? That can only mean one thing. And I can only see half my car. <laughs> it's half my car gone. Let's um. Let's turn our headlights off too heavy for its engine. Wow, really? We've lost another wheel. Let's stop driving. Good. The rest of the car is still here. Let's have a little look. See what we got. We got a wheel there. We got a wheel. It says we've got enough wheels. The engine's looking okay. Look, it's still green. Now, oh, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe we just, we're just hitting a bush or something. Yeah, so we've still got three wheels. Let's just out here. Um, I don't really want to leave the car here. Need to be a bit further out of town for that. So I'm going to jump back in again. It fails to start. 
Battery's fine. Oh, we're uh, we're out of fuel. That's not good. <laughs> Blimey. Okay. Well, how uh, how not to play this game? Good fun. Oh well, looks like uh, we might well be. I think the uh, camp or something. Oh no, that's a mass grave. Definitely don't want to go down there. Um, right. Well, I guess we are spending the night here then. So it's one o'clock in the morning. Let's um, eat our veggies, have a drink, and uh, and get asleep and cross our fingers. This could be very no very uh, nasty. Um, I do want to set an alarm for eight hours. We want to wake up fairly soon. No. Uh, can hear again at least, so if somebody starts whacking on the vehicle that might wake us up, it might not equally as well, but um, at least we made it a bit out of town so it's daytime now outside, are we going to wake up? yep, good, the alarm did actually wake us up so, first the order of business, we need to make some arrows so let's make 30 arrows right now We'll just use the thread, some scrap metal, and I don't know, some plastic bags. That's, uh, that's a bit of a start. What can we eat? So, I made a boiled egg. So, let's eat our boiled egg. They last a long time. I like those. Uh, we're still hungry? Okay. Anyway, let's have a drink. Let's um, see what we can cook up. Make some granola. Breakfast, anyone? So we've got some dried rice and some forest honey. Okay. And some fruit jam. Okay, sounds different. That's going to take 45 minutes. That doesn't sound very good. Okie dokie, what we got? Cornbread. How long is that going to take? 20 minutes? That sounds good. Right, we can have some cooked rice. That's just rice. Yeah, let's do some cooked rice. That's only three minutes. Yeah, let's make uh, make three eyes. And uh, let's have some. No, I want it. Yeah, well, all that's there. Let's uh, drop that book off. Not that. That. I don't need that right now so we oh there's our there's our little artifact over there so we're gonna need to get a few things in so let's um actually I could empty the gasoline lantern but that's not gonna give us that much fuel but anyway uh, let's get our jerry cam we'll need a rubber hose rubber hose where are you oh it's R okay Let's uh, drop off our toolbox. Anything else? No, that'll probably do for now. So, load the diesel. See if there's any in, any petrol in here, in here. No, I think we've stripped all this. What's that up there? I can see a zombie or something. Okay, zombies aggroed us. So let's go and get him. Oh, I know what I should get. I should get some sort of um, weapon, like a two by sword or something. What was that? There's a fishing spear. Not really what I had in mind. Um, but that, um, yeah, let's make a. Yeah, let's make it either cross between the cludger or a two by sword. Cludger's got plus two to hit. But, um, yeah, let's make a two by sword. In case we come across that zombie dog, because uh, arrows weren't very effective against him, really. That should see it's turned safe mode back on. Good job. Right. Okay. So let's head over, take out this shady zombie here. The spitter zombie might be seeing us from there. 
I'm a bit concerned about seeing this tank get somewhere right. Yeah, look, it's just sort of northwest of us, on the edge of that building. I'm surprised that spitter didn't get him. Aggrade, really. Good shot. I think I'm going to leave what arrow, arrows we had there on that spitter. I don't want to go up there. But, um, oops, let's run away from this guy a little bit. And we shall see if there's any fuel here. Wow, 10 litres. That is amazing. That's uh, that entire jerry can filled up. Have I got another container on me? I'm even prepared to use my drinking canteen. <laughs> no. Okay, let's, um, let's go and take all this straight back to the car then. Got here pipes and stuff. Okay, let's turn safe mode back on. Let's turn uh, sprinting off. Okay, I can see a zombie child. So, let's fill that up. Oops, what am I doing? Siphon. I don't want to put our water in there. I want to put the fuel in there. <laughs> fill that with the jerry can. I'm used to just hitting return, return or whatever to do everything, so bad habit really. Plague nymph. Okay. That's what spawns um from the food. If you look it's uh, it's a cockroach. So possibly from one of the um fat zombies that we sort of were chopping up. That spawns from there really. But uh we wanna we do run away from him, he's not running away from us at the moment. Just the other side there he is there. Is he running away? We're getting nearer. I wanna take him out really. I don't know what exactly they do, but let's run in now, let's run after him a bit. Get a bit nearer. There we go, got him. So I really don't want to uh be those guys. Anyway, it's uh, lots of arrows on the floor here, so let's uh grab some of these. And let's have a look at this vehicle here. It's got diesel. Uh, okay. Got a smoker zombie or something coming from the north there. What's, what's that on the floor? There's some really interesting stuff. It looks like there's some duct tape here. Yeah, it is. And what's that? Electronic scrap. Okay. But uh, this is a very interesting tank. It looks like it's got three guns. Look, it's got an M240 there. What's this one? This is an M M2 Browning. So that's got a few guns on it. Anyway, let's come up here and hopefully... Oh, this guy, he went into cover. If you kill him here, he'll suffocate us, so we need to get some, some distance. Blimey, he's fast. Gosh. There we go, we got him. Let you can see how big that explosion was. No, I don't want to step in the smoke. What did he have? A pair of scissors and some clogs. How useful. Right. Wow, so much cash these guys carry. That's awesome. Right, it's a wooden arrow just up there, so let's go and get that one. A pair of eyeglasses. Did we? Oh no, we got the uh, lenses from something else in the end, didn't we? What have you got? Siphon any gas? Nope. Let's turn safe mode back on again. So. Where's our little car? It's up here. Somewhere. Yeah, there it is. We're going to have to drive our car up here somehow. It's going to be fun. Let's um, clear the next road to our right. Might be a few more of our arrows here as well. 
the thread, good stuff. But, um, it's a nice green place, I might um, pop in there and see if they got any. So, clear all these, that's just a children's book. Anything here? Nope. box oh I got some gelato fortunately unfortunately even it's uh, rotten got some cookies some maple syrup candies and uh, what we got some peanut butter candies it's like we're living on junk food tin of canned pineapple anything in the back Parallel the gloves, we've got enough leather gloves already. Right, let's um, just open and close that, really. Can I let me open that door? Yep, I want to crowbar it. Crowbar, activate. Okay, well we can't pry that one open. Um, let's mark this as explored. Um, let's go up. No, we're seeing another skeletal dog somewhere. He's north of us. He's not spotted us. So let's. Um, I'd really like to run him across some furniture or something. I guess we can like drag him across this stuff on our left. There's a few park benches and stuff. Now let's see. He will come to us. That enough? The zombie can see us. Okay. Well, let's split him up a little bit then. We've got another zombie coming out of nowhere. Wowza. Oh, I mostly didn't hit us. Some of those. Come on, doggy, get down. Oh, is that him? Yeah, he's seen us. Right, okay. So we'll wield uh, useless but um, okay 2x4. Can I can't really not even carry that. We're really that heavy. Okay. Well, see if this doggy comes over here. Hopefully, he's pathing down the side of that building, leading to where we were. Yep, so here he comes. Stand over here. Come on, doggy. Some of that. Right. There. Wheel our longbow again. I'm just going to drop our uh, two by sword here then if we're that overloaded. But anyway, I would like to check out this tank at some point. The moment let's uh, turn the safe mode back on. Wow, more zombies. Okay, let's see a grappler zombie. I think he was off to our right. No, we can actually make stuff out of this. That's interesting. Um, amplifiers, bizarrely enough, you can make light amplifica amplification from amplifiers. So we can, and a pulse laser, blimey. Okay, well, we'll take some. What's this? Plastic chunk. Okay. Where's that zombie gone? There's the grappler zombie over there. So I'm not sure if we'd even be able to fit our car up here. Very tight indeed. Whoa, we can see a zombie brute. He spotted us already. Let's um, let's have a bit of a rumble then. Jeez! Thank goodness for that. I was getting a bit concerned. He's got a headlamp on him. Um, it looks like just a miner's helmet as opposed to an actual headlamp, but you know, whatever. 
Now this grappler's coming. Let's see if we can get him. Okay, that brute oh, I thought would be a bit tougher than that. Grab the radio. Might be able to disassemble it for stuff. Don't think you can um, butcher zombie brutes for anything. Um, but let's have a try. It's gonna. No, I don't want. Yeah, it's 44 minutes. That's a long time. We have a zombie over here somewhere. Where is he? Then safe mode back on. There he is. Giant cockroach. Almost dead actually. A pregnant giant cockroach. We definitely want to kill that. Otherwise uh, we'll have the place swarming. Let's wander up here. Oh, I can see a security bot. Smashing its way through that building over there. Hopefully the security bot is taking out all those cockroaches. It looks like it's in the area. Not in the area. Oh, what a shame. Oh well. Might do a runner. Hmm. Things are getting tricky here just to get to this... Uh, Solar vehicle is just to our north there. I don't know. I think uh, it's time, so let's uh, let's just run away for a second. That security bot's going to run and have fun getting across all of that um, rubble and whatnot up there. So let's run just to here, and then we'll uh, we'll walk the rest and uh, make a hasty retreat. Anyway, any gasoline? No. Okay, what I will do, we will pick up all of these bones. Oh, I can only take one anyway. But, uh, that's a shame. Make some bone glue out of those. There's tons of bones. Anyway, so I think oops, we can still see Child. She hasn't spotted us. I think that's going to be our lot for this episode. So, a very very narrow escape. Did we get any fuel already? Didn't think so. No, our ca jerry can's empty. So, a narrow escape there. Very dodgy indeed. Um, but anyway, it's time. So, uh, hopefully, I'll uh, see you all next time. So, take care. Okay. I've got an admission to make. Um, I'm just exploring, we're just uh, slightly off to the west of, uh, sorry, off to the east from our car. And uh, at this T-junction here we've got a smashed up RV. And uh, looking over here, look, we've got a working kitchen unit over here. I was just coming over here scavenging, if we could scavenge any fuel and stuff. But uh, we're going high like that. Hopefully we'll... Uh, We'll get something really cool for our vehicle, and that is a new kitchen unit. Now it's pretty damaged, but um, hopefully we can just repair that all up. So there's a, a bit of a result, anyway. It's, um, so that's good. So I'll I'll get this back to the car, and uh, we'll probably head back to I don't know the base up north and. Uh, get this all welded on. I'm a little bit concerned about our uh, our engine and power usage so what I might do is I might swap over the two storage cells from the electric car into this thing and if you look we've only got two uh, solar panels so we could actually fit like nine of them on there so I think there's just four on the car but uh, still that'll, so if we can find another couple that'd be good but um, hopefully this will uh, get our uh, situation a lot a lot better. So let's just drop the RB unit in the back there. And um, this time I probably will see you next time. Honest. Take care.